Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur, and welcome to Imperator. Imperator is a paradox grand strategy game set during the Roman Empire, and it's free for the first week of April on Steam just to play, not to own. So this is going to be a short series, just maybe one or two episodes to check it out and see what's going on and see if we want to bring it to the channel in the future. It's been out for, I believe, maybe six or eight months. This is update 1.4, the free Archimedes update. I've never played this before. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to dive in. Okay, so here is the game map starting in 304 BC. You can see there's a ton of small little kingdoms, including Rome. We can scan all the way over here into the Middle East, and the game continues across modern-day Iran and even into southern India. And there's a small collection of empires down at the bottom that are recommended for beginners. So I think we're going to go ahead and play through the tutorial. These paradox games are huge and complicated, so that may be a good idea. And we will be playing as Rome, which the title of the game would suggest. Roma Invicta. So we've just won a war with the Sam Samnites to the south. But we have the Etruscans to the north, who are wary of our expanding power. To the east is the Greek city-states, who are plotting against one another. And to the west we have Sicily, and Carthage continues to expand their power. For the Republic! It is currently October 1st, 450, according to the Roman calendar. And we are set to dominate the Italian peninsula. Our key resources are going to be the treasury. We have 456 gold, along with manpower and political influence. And our stability is at 50, which is perfect equilibrium. And our first objective is to stabilize Rome. And to do that, we need to make a sacrifice to the gods. Click on religion. And indeed, sacrifice to the gods. Monthly stability change, plus 0.2. So it looks like it's going to cost us 46 political influence. And we have stabilized Rome. So that was easy enough. Now we have invoke a deity. Deities are important features in Imperator. Open the religion window to browse the deities of the Roman pantheon. Each country has four deity slots. War, culture, economy, and fertility. Invoking a deity provides an extra bonus known as an omen. And they would like me to invoke Mars for the tutorial. So back to the religion window. So I can call upon Mars for five years, yielding the following benefits. Discipline of 4.4%. Thank you. The gods are smiling on us. Have an army of 30 cohorts. So I can click on, for example, Rome. Oh my god, it's right here. And then click Recruit Cohorts. And I need to do at least 30 to complete the tutorial. We'll start with Heavy Infantry. So is that only one? I believe so. It cost me 14 gold per turn. 
I just have enough for 30, I believe. Seems like it's going to take a long time. So there's six in. It looks like that's going to take us the better part of a year. So maybe I'll start with that. We also need to increase our fleet to 20. Any territory with a port. So here's the city of Astia. And we can build ships. Not sure what the difference is really. These Liburnians are the cheapest. So let's go ahead and get maybe six of them in as well. That's three right there. That should take us quite a while. Construct an aqueduct in Rome. Here we go. Now we're talking. Real Roman things going on now. Build city building. And an aqueduct gives us plus four population capacity. Will cost us 50 gold. And will decrease our ruler finesse by 18%. But that's going to get going. Import fish to Latium. So we click on Rome. Now that's the Legion, sorry. Province of Latium in Italia. And import fish. Local monthly food modifier plus 10%. And these are all the places we can get it, I believe. Don't seem to be much of a difference. I'll go ahead and get it from Macedon. We are now importing fish from the province of Thessaly to the province of Latium. For food modifier plus 10%. Conquer the Sabini. Alright, we'll leave that for a minute. Military is usually the most complicated. Purchase an invention. Is that how inventions work? Maybe in olden times. So if we click on the technology menu, which is here. And we can choose any that we want, I believe. Available inventions. These are martial ones. Tribesman output. Change governor policy cost. Or monthly ruler popularity gain. Okay, so they're different categories. Material science is minus 10% to army weight modifier. So that sounds like a good idea, given that we need to invade our neighbors to complete the tutorial. Am I sure? Not really, but that's fine. A major discovery. Finish off the Samnites. So that's the faction that we were at war against down here to the south. They still seem to have a big amount of territory. Relations with the Sympantum. Have them reach a hundred opinion of Rome. No, I'm sorry, the Sympantum are over this side. Open diplomacy. And then we can go ahead and influence. Relation actions, I'm sorry. Improve opinion, send gift. We can do either one of those, or both maybe. It's only six gold to send a gift. That sounds acceptable. Uh, we have a diplomat en route. We cannot do both. Okay, embassy established. That is a start. Destroy Etruria. Annex the Etruscan territory. It's up here to the north, so again, that will be later. Conquer Southern Italy and conquer Syracuse, which is Southeast Sicily. 
So what else do we have up here? We have the nation overview, which lists all our provinces and governors. It's the government screen with our console. It also shows the factions in the Senate who are currently evenly divided between the populist, the religious, the mercantile, the military, and the civic. And I can endorse a certain faction. And they've gone up 10% already. Actually a 50% increase. Here is our military with a list of cohorts, ships, and then also traditions, which we don't have any of yet. We've already seen the technologies and how we can invest in different options there. We've already learned how to sacrifice to the gods and we can pick different deities to worship down here. We have two holy sites, Roma and Kapua. Look at the economy screen. We're getting 0.4 gold per month. We can increase taxes if we want. Or tributes. Or cut back on army or fleet maintenance. That's pretty cool. We looked at the diplomacy screen and things we can do with Sipantum. We have a ways to go before we'll be 100% with them. Why do we have a bellicose stance? That doesn't sound appropriate. We can change our stance to mercantile, which will increase our commerce and trade routes, as well as significantly boost their opinion of us. Let me try that. We have decisions we can make as well. Enact plutocratic republic, promote oligarchy, proclaim theocratic republic, Proclaim dictatorship, divine sanction, expanding the campus Martius, or embellish the temple of Jupiter. All these seem quite expensive. Or a big hit to our stability. We are getting an increase in stability every month though. We currently are importing grain and fish, as we saw earlier, but then exporting cloth to Syracuse. We still have wine, iron, and grain that we can export. I could stop paying for the grain to be imported, but it is giving us plus 10% national manpower. So that's about 3,000 troops or so. For 0.3 gold per month sounds like a good deal to me. And a list of all of the characters and families in Rome. That seems ambitious. Sort by title, sort by name. We also have martial, finesse, charisma, zeal. And then we can sort by faction. Power base. Popularity, health, age, wealth, and traits. How about just our family? What's that look like? We only have the one. Ruler Publius Semperonius Sophus, who is jealous, victorious, and wise. A list of mercenaries that we have available. We have none employed at the moment. It's probably for the best. And then missions. Right now, all of our missions are for the tutorial. But I imagine in the base game, we'll have more with time. A matter of Italia. Our fortune awaits in foreign lands. This mission will be considered complete when the en entire region of Italia is under Roman influence. Start the mission. We can consult the Senate. This will take 365 days. And we gain a claim on all the territories in the area. Let's go ahead and try that. We also have more trade routes available. Do I remember how to do that? Import. 
What else do we have here? Do we need camels or elephants? Or how about wild game? Technology and armor. That sounds good. Amber for tax. Earthenware for research. Gemstones for tax. Papyrus for research. Marble for civilization. Isn't that the truth? Glass as well. And then incense and silk for commerce value. I'm going to take the papyrus maybe. And let's get time ticking along here and see what else we can learn. Sounding out the opposition, debate has raged for many years over our rocky relationship with the nation states. Sabinia, a small nation many in Rome call a friend, stands well placed to provide us with assistance. Many of our warlike advisors, however, seem intent on burning all bridges. We must maintain a benevolent image. And we have 12,000 troops already. Let's see if we can get them moving. If I pick the first legion, can I send them down here to this 4,000 army in Samnium? If I knew how, maybe. Am I not at war with these guys right now? Open diplomacy. Declare war. We have plenty of allies, so I'm not too worried about this. Okay. Minus stability, plus war exhaustion, and aggressive expansion. I thought I was supposed to finish these guys off. What is going on? Fabricate a claim first. Fabricate claims will cost us 20 political influence. And then I get to pick which one I want, I believe. And this will take me approximately two years. Campania is the biggest territory. And now that we have cohorts coming in to Rome, I need to get a commander in. Plenty of options here, that's for sure. I'm thinking this guy at the top, 21 year old Publius Sulpicius Savario, is probably our best bet. He has a nine marshal. The matter of Italia. The region of Italia has remained a valuable resource of trade and commerce. I'm going to say Italia would indeed prosper under our rule. We'll shift to a more warlike approach. So we have Gaius Claudius Crassus and Marcus Claudius Corvus, who are both members of the Claudi family. But Gaius here would like us to have a more warlike stance while Marcus would prefer a peaceful approach. I'm not sure what's right here. I have different goals depending on that opponent that we're talking about. So let's go ahead and stick with friendship for now since we've already started doing that. I like how over here on the right, it really tells you in plain English how long things are going to take. There's no progress bar or anything like that, so you can see at a glance. A religious proceeding. A struggle between the religious echelons of our society and the peasants has recently come into light. The populace feels like religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our Agar and his attendants demand the distance needed to do their jobs properly. I could say the priests are right and lose stability, but gain omen power. I could say the peasants are right. This would increase stability, but I would lose omen power. 
And then I could say both are right and we will have a religious proceeding through the territory that will appease both sides. And I would gain three stability. And Publius Cornelius would gain 10 loyalty for 60 months. It sounds like a reasonable solution. Stability increased. The Senate speaks. Rhetoric and debate have raged for a year, and the Senate has reached a final stance on the matter. The Senate demand protection for the weak of Italia. So I think that means that we're going to be in a more warlike stance. I don't have my claim yet, do I? I have a cute event where my consul Publius is going to gain arrogant. I'm not sure why that is. Oh dear. And I just sped it up. So that's good, I guess. We need to keep investing in the military as well. I'm going to go ahead and try to get some archers in. Clicked on the wrong territory. There we go. I can just keep clicking. That's going to be 45 days, though, for new archers. That's fine. That's a pretty cool little system, though. And then do we have boats as well? Build ships. Let's get some tremes in this time, maybe. Three more of them. But that's all of our gold. Not quite. I'm down to 161. We now have a claim on the province of Campania. This gives us a castle spell eye on the local power of Sam Samnium. Go to location. We have this guy down here, 12,000 already. Is there any sign where the capital is? I guess it's here. We have this little, there's a level one fort at the very least. Level one fort, level one fort. Um, I think we're next door to this territory. Cannot move here. Cannot move here. Why can't we move there? We have to declare war first. That would make sense. Minister of Excellence. We should expect much better revenue this year. Thank you. Get the pause in, open the diplomacy, declare war. We have the Casus Belli, take Campania. Forcing this through the Senate will cost us five. What is that? Oh, tyranny points. Fantastic. So now we can add. Yes. And I will get in there. And I don't know what's going to happen after that. Oh, the armies are on the move, though. That's for sure. Right, we are currently occupying the settlement of Beneventum. We have 12,000 troops. I don't think they can do anything about this. But they do have quite a bit floating around. So not all these belong to Samnium, though. I think we're done here. Yep, occupied by Rome. Is there a war score down here anywhere? Something like that? Yep, five, I guess. Sure. Right, we've won the siege of Bovianum. First Roman Samnite War. The defender controls the province of Campania. I guess we'll have to fix that. Members of the mercantile faction have something of a reputation regarding the price of their support. It came, therefore, as no surprise when Gaius Claudius Crassus, leader of the patricians of Rome, approached us with a glint in his eye. You could spend 20 gold or say this is unnecessary and lose his support. 
or we could lose 50 gold and the mercantile faction will be much more likely to back my actions for two years. We share similar goals. Maybe it's time to get in here and try to win a battle. If nothing else we need to occupy this territory. Alright, so that's done. I think we've got most of their territories in Campania under control already. Although the war score is frustratingly low. The allies are taking knocks more than we are, so that's helpful. Keep moving about, sieging these territories. Arliss Virginus has been caught red-handed, using his status to make particularly shady business deals. A token slap on the wrist. We gain 10 corruption, but he gives us 15 loyalty. A hefty fine is in order. He loses 10 loyalty, and we gain 5 popularity. He loses 100 gold. Or we could say, lose his position in government. We'll lose 15 loyalty from Alus Virginis, but gain 25 popularity. I think a hefty fine is in order. Maybe they're taking some of these territories back, but I feel like we need to get up north and siege a couple of these spots again. Maybe we can run into his army while we're at it. They're in the, ter in the neighborhood. There we go. Here's the battle of Atlantium and we are victorious not sure that's done too much the leader of the faction commonly concerned with civic matters has proposed a favorable deal we can spare the revenue enemy captured somewhat concerned we're taking all this land but the war score doesn't seem to be making much of a difference they need to worry more about their armies, I guess. Trying to get after them, but they don't want to fight too much. They keep redirecting the troops. And here we go, Battle of Potentia. Another victory, it looks like. And our war score has gone down to six. What the hell? I'm not sure what's going on here. We've won multiple battles all over the area. We have several provinces that are under our control, but we're not winning the war, so to speak. Still only at four. Yeah, I think what's happening is that our allies are losing a lot of small battles. It's really hindering our war score. They are losing some war enthusiasm, though. It's down to medium. Maybe I need to concentrate on the troops a little bit more. In some Paradox games, like Crusader Kings, you're much better off focusing on the territory. I think each one is a little bit different. Enemy troops over this way. He's getting down here. Now he's going to stop, and he doesn't know what he wants to do. The wealthier residents of Napolis have formed a petition on behalf of the entire province complaining about the harsh wage of Governor Marcus Claudius Corvus. The taxation policy is causing quite the fur amongst landlords who have to work their slaves to the bone to meet quotas. Send a representative to ensure rules are being followed. And we have a battle of Bovium. And it looks like we've lost that one. Nope, but we are victorious. A new ruler, Lucius Fabius Cursor, was elected to office and will now rule our glorious nation. Military faction is now in control. Morale of armies and navies is up 10% each. Trying to catch the troops down here, but my army doesn't seem to want to go that way, so instead we're sieging. A gift from the gods. The strength of spirit belonging to the Roman people knows no bounds. We are faced with bankruptcy. 
Part of that has to be from the army upkeep, correct? Minus eight per month of army maintenance. That's wonderful. Rome gets 62 gold. That'll keep us going for a little bit. We are up to 50% war score. I'm thinking because I'm not at war with whatever territory this is, that I'm not, I don't have free passage to put my troops there. So they have a little bit of a safe haven. Meanwhile, they're allowed to regroup. See if we can get back over here. Hit these bigger armies one more time. And we have a Battle of Bantia. Should be an easy win for us. Indeed, war score up to 57. And now down to 27. All of our friends, though, still have very high war enthusiasm, while the other side is sinking fast. So maybe that's really all we need to do is outlast them. But it's a little bit frustrating for the moment. Get up this way. We have several enemy troops heading towards Rome. We don't want that to be an issue. And again, we're in debt, but we're going to lose research points this time for getting 63 gold. Worrying indeed. And I can't get my army into here to attack these guys. I don't know what is going on. Lucius Fabius has led his men to glory in New Syria. Needless to say, the spoils of war are likely to cause those back in Rome to admire him greatly. But leaving such wealth in the hands of one man could cause problems. I can say, let the looting be gentle and gain popularity. Or I could say, let the men roam freely. Rome would get 51 gold. Or I could say, none shall hide, and we get 85 gold, and I would gain cruel. Let the looting be gentle. Gentle looting. Never hurt anybody. But I've got these guys cornered down here in the southeast, and I'm just waiting for the war to be over. Should be any second now. Here's the Battle of Nuceria. We are victorious. And any moment now, that should be your lot. Can't quite get it to 100, though. There we go. There we go. Sue for peace. I'm going to take all this territory, I guess. Okay. The Italian local power of Samnium has agreed to our generous peace officer of white peace. Okay, so that's not really what I wanted to do. But we are still learning the game. And I think I'll leave it there for now. As you can see, Imperator is an incredibly complex game. And there's still tons to learn. We barely scratched the surface. But maybe next time I'll dive into a smaller nation. And I'll set my own goals. And we'll take it slowly and see if we can learn a little bit more about what's going on. But for now, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been Imperator. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and have a good night. For the moment, we're in food danger, but that won't last too long. It's not gonna go well for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Here's Maddox, and he puts that just inside the far post. Either that or we'll set off some more aliens, but either way. We can, and that's job done.